of the ships are running on fumes right now. We're out of oxygen. Hello everyone, it's me, PSC Impulse, and I'm bringing you my final um, thoughts on Titan Fall. I was meant to do this with Blues and Twos. We did do the commentary, unfortunately. His voice wasn't recorded, so he had to do redo one himself and it was just a, a bit of a bit of un, you know a bit unlucky as I could say. However, you know I'm gonna start off uh, this is my opinion of the game I'm gonna start okay, off with first the uh, campaign. Campaign uh, everyone was really looking forward to it. I was looking forward to it. Um, first time I've ever heard of a campaign to be on me completely online which is I thought this is gonna be interesting uh, like Blues and Tears, I was wondering how they're going to do it, and the way they did it, yes, it was good. I mean, I I was surprisingly, surpri well, I was surprisingly surprised, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, it was nice, it was good, it flowed, even if you had a bad connection, it still, you were still able to get kills if you concentrate on the Grunts and Spectres, because then, you know. But, however, as well as Blues and Tears, I thought there was no storyline. There was, there wasn't, was it? Nothing to tell you how it started. Nothing to get you uh, fixed on a, a character or a, a hero of both sides. You know, it was just, you know, a few, a little cutscene here, a, them talking to you, you listening to, waiting for the game to load, and then bang, you're into the game and you're fighting other people online. There was nothing, to, you know, to get you engrossed into the. Uh, the campaign, the story mode. There wasn't, was it? There was just bang, wallop, kill, bet. And that was uh, disappointing in my vision. Uh, Blues and Twos felt the same. It was disappointing. It was, wasn't it? Uh, I'm hoping when they start bringing out some of the DLCs that they will do something like that. I'll be honest, yeah, this, is, this is the only downside to Titanfall I can find at the present time. Really bad downfall is if your servers go down, you can't play the game. The game is useless. It's nothing. It's not even worth being on your hard drive. The simple reason the whole thing is based on uh, online. If a server goes down, you can't play it. You can't play it offline like on the campaign mode because there isn't one. Uh, that was the only, only negative, uh, negative to this game. However, if they manage to put on something like, like a side quest or side missions on the DLC, each time they bring a DLC and they bring out uh, like a a chapter of a side quest or something and then that would make it more playable more enjoyable and if you ha say that as I said the servers went down it was an on offline mode that would be fantastic they could be doing like a combat train you know Black, Black Ops 2, 1 and Black Ops 2 did combat train didn't they where you could play bots um, if you had a bad connection although it was online I'm sure they could do a, a version where you can play it offline good ghost does it when you do a private match you can create your own bots and uh, Play that way. So it'll be a way to get used to the maps and find out exactly how to go. Um, so that was the only downside, I could, major downside I could see at the present time. We're going to go on to not the guns yet. We're going to go on to the uh, the bots and the spectres. Uh, bots and spectres. Yeah, fantastic idea, guys. Keeps the game flowing, uh, especially for the ones as I said. We've got bad connections like myself. You can concentrate on shooting them because it helps the team. You know, gives you more points. Uh, you know, it, it, especially with attrition, you virtually kill, whoever you kill goes against the enemy tea, team. Uh, I've literally done games where I've killed about four pilots, I've had seven deaths, and I've had to run about 54 uh, 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 grunts and uh, bot kills, virtually, I would say. And that's, you know, and the whole team's won because, you know, we've literally killed the bots as well as killed the pilots. And it does help, so don't ignore the spectres don't ignore the grunts take them out because there is a player there is a burn card which makes you look like a specter <laughs> if you see that guys just shoot the specter because it could be a pilot i've used it once and and to you know to my i hate to say it i literally <laughs> were taking people out they thought i was a specter and then i just started shooting them <laughs> so it is a good card however it does give you a little bit more health. You can resist a lot more damage. However, the the only thing about it is the irritating noise. You do sound like a robot. That is the only downside. So, yeah, the only slight thing about the grunts and uh, spectres, you, I would say the I the AI needs to be improved slightly. You know, give them a 
uh, a bit more of a fighting chance, you know. However, for the present time, it is a very good uh, game and well balanced. We're not going to go into weapons, guys. Uh, weapons are not too bad. I haven't tried the snipers. I've avoided the snipers because I'm not a sniper, as you know. And I just don't like snipers. One of them is uh, like a maximum rifle where you can literally spam it. There is a, a maximum rifle on there as well, which you can spam that as well if you had a modded controller. But the last sniper apparently is very difficult to use. You have to be completely accurate. Oh, by the way, watch this clip, guys, because I, I want to know. Leave it in the comments. Do you think I was lucky or the enemy were unlucky? So just leave me in that in the comment. So I don't like using snipers. The carbine and the car is my favorite gun. I have tried the burst fire gun, which is in this clip right now. It's not a bad gun. It fires uh, three bullets at one time. You can get a uh, attachment which fires five bullets. However, you know it does um, go against your accuracy as well. But I do. The only two guns I've mainly used is the carbine and the car. I have used most of the rest of them. I just don't seem to do very well with my connection. It's just basically basically my connection. Until that improves, there's not much I can do. But I do like the guns. They're well balanced. Well, uh, really good attachments. And, you know, it's nice. It's just a shame there's not more of them. <laughs> there's a lot of people saying it. It is a shame that there's not a lot more guns. Hopefully when the DLCs come out, they're going to be putting guns into it. I'm hoping so, because I am looking forward to the first lot of DLCs. I know, I believe there's going to be a upload coming soon where you're having new game modes. I'll be interested to see what they're going to be offering us, isn't it, guys? I can't wait. Um, let's go on to Titans. Titans, yes. I like this idea. I like this idea of... Uh, dry you know controlling this big huge metal beast you know it's fantastic i also like the uh, the uh, chance to take one down you can jump on it and as you call it rodeo it hey, ride it like a cowboy kind of thing and shoot it that is good i like the fact you can run over people you can you know do a, quite a lot of uh, things i uh, there's a couple of clips coming up in a minute guys where i literally do um there's not so much Bruce Lee, the Mike Tyson punch, guys. I, I literally, you can, if you time it just right, you can really punch pilots while they're on the ground. And uh, I've got two clips. One's coming up right here. There's one. And there should be another one in a second where I get another punch to the pilot on the ground. It can be done. And it, 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 it's, to be honest, it's really satisfying. It does make sense. This game, you can't, you can't really rage about this game. Because, you know, Yes, there are some people beginning the camp, and I think the people who are beginning the camp are the ones who are really, really uh, more into their KD, or they've never played it before. However, I do like this game, and <laughs> I, I can see myself playing it a lot, lot more, as long as the DLC starts bringing in new game modes, new guns, Hopefully, new Titan would be nice. A really new Titan and new Titan weapons would be fantastic. My favourite Titan weapon at the present time is the chain gun. Uh, I've got the uh, accelerator on it, which means it shoots fant a large amount of bullets. However, it starts off slow and then speeds up, and, and I mean, literally does. If, if you time it right, you can, like right now, like, fire all your rockets. If you hit all, if you hit all your rockets, hit it takes the shields away completely, and then you can just use this gun. 150 bullets and let take out a titan no problem uh, as long as you've got cover and there's not more <laughs> than one of them which is normally you play a game you're normally oh i'm taking out a titan and there's another three behind you. <laughs> you you play them you know what i mean it's a pain in the butt uh, i i did i must admit when i still first started playing this i played on the default setting i think that was a mistake i'm now on very high it took me a couple of days to get used to that but and uh, in this clip, I'm using the very high setting, and I'm doing very well. You know, I've finally got used to it. Damn spectres are paying them, but they take a lot of damage. And if you don't time your kick right, they will kick you down. And I mean, literally does kick you down. There's always some person in the game which doesn't play. But that's very rare. But I do like this game. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is talk about... I'm going to give you the score of it. Uh, my opinion of the scoring is quite simply, it's out of 10. And I would say 9 out of 10. 
Uh, 9 or 10 is quite simply, there is no offline game mode, you know, to uh, help you along. That is that is my only, only gripe of the game. There's no offline, so if the servers go down, you've got nothing. And I've already said that, so that is why I've said 9 out of 10. Yes, is it um, lived up to my expectations of the hype? Yes, I do. Yes and no, but yes, overall, yes, it has. I've enjoyed this, and this is a game I can see myself playing, and I think it's the game for me. So that's me, Wills, coming to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think as well. Until next time, it's me, Will. sign off. Bye now.